Today is just a quick update on the Fat Shark Dominator HD Stroke Walk Snail Avatar FPV system launch. Now, if you're a follower of the channel, you'd have seen last week I placed my order for the system via Rotorite in the US. That was actually for two reasons. The first being, I assumed that would probably be one of the quickest places to get my hands on it. But secondly, because I didn't think it was going to be available in the EU or UK because there'd been no hint that the system was coming over to to this region. However, in the last couple of days, some things have changed. Number one, we found out that whilst the goggles are launching tomorrow, the 29th, it seems that there's a little bit of a delay on VTXs from Walksnail, and they're not going to be shipping until the weekend or early July. That means for those who've placed orders for the goggles and the VTXs, one of a few things is going to happen. Your dealer will either ship the goggles first and then ship the VTX when it comes in, they'll hold your order back, or they may reach out to you and ask what you want to do. It is a big, big shame that we don't have both parts of the system available at the same time. I understand these things happen. For me, the biggest frustration is that we weren't told about this until yesterday, and it is something that we could have prepared for had we known sooner. I'll be honest, my frustration level on this whole situation has been through the roof, and I'm gonna try and refrain from sharing with you my thoughts on that right now. I'm gonna try and concentrate on the system and what we're hoping to get, and hopefully try and put all of the nonsense around this launch behind us. Now, as I mentioned, I actually placed my order with Rotoriot last week. However, I have now canceled that, and that's nothing to do with the fact that the products aren't shipping at the same time, and it's to do with the fact that UK dealers actually have these goggles in stock ready to ship tomorrow. At the point of all of this being announced and pre-orders going up, you had a number of US dealers come online and show pre-orders, but we had nothing in the UK and Europe, and the assumption was that they really weren't going to be available yet or anytime soon. However, yesterday we started seeing order pages go up at the likes of Hobby RC and Mand Aerial Tech and other European dealers, and actually they have these goggles in stock now, ready to ship tomorrow onwards. So as a result of that, I reached out to the guys at Rotoriot and asked could I cancel my pre-order because it hadn't been shipped obviously yet. They were really quick to reply on the email, they've done the PayPal refund already, and I've now placed an order for the goggles via a UK dealer. Whilst I have the goggles though, I won't have the VTX yet. What we'll do is just hop over to the desktop and walk through the current situation with supply and we'll talk about that a little bit more as well. So as I've said, the noise is that these will officially launch tomorrow, the 29th, and they will be shipping from there onwards. Now, if you're looking to get yourself an order, the likes of Rotoriot, as I understand it, still have stock available, and I don't think there's going to be too many issues getting stock at dealers across the US. For instance, Rotoriot obviously is going to be one of the main ones because they are linked to Red Cat and Fat Shark. We have the Dominators at Get FPV, but I also know the likes of Pyrodrone will have stock on day one as well. In the UK, both Hobby RC and Unmanned Aerial Tech have said that they will have stock available on day one. It is there, it is ready to ship tomorrow, so if you are in the UK and looking to get yourself a set, they are there. However, as I've said, whilst we have the goggles shipping, the VTXs are not today, and we don't know for sure exactly when that's going to be. The guys at Rotoriot did say that they're hoping to have them in stock around the weekend, and they're going to be shipping them hopefully early next week, but they're not giving any exact dates because they don't want to fall foul to all of the usual problems such as customs and postage and things like that. In the UK, if you look at some of the dealers over here, they're saying things on those pages like they intend to ship them in early July. So for instance, if I go on to Hobby RC, they've got it down here saying pre-order stock due early July. Hopefully that means sort of 1st to 5th and not 5th to 10th. But what it does mean is whilst you can get goggles, you may be able to turn them on and have a look at them on the bench, you're not going to be able to use them or fly with them yet. 
In Europe, I'm not exactly sure what the situation with stock is, but it'd be worth checking out a couple of the dealers with them. I'm not expecting there to be great shortages of stock on this system. At the moment, at least, stock seems okay. We don't know numbers, but the reality is the amount of people going in on day one is going to be fairly low, and we're going to have to wait and see what the reviews show as they release in the next couple of days, I would suspect. Now, one other thing I just want to mention on this launch with these goggles is the Fatshark Dominator HDs, whilst are fully compatible with the Avatar system, they do have a couple of different specs and things you need to be aware of. For instance, the Dominators have a lower input voltage rating, up to 5S and not 6S, and the Dominators don't ship with antennas included in the kit. However, if you're looking to get yourself a set of the Walk Snail goggles, if we look at the Walk Snail info, they do actually include antennas in the kit as well for the same price. There are some US dealers listing both the Fat Shark goggles and the Walk Snail goggles, although the Walk Snail are not going to be available yet. We're expecting them to ship probably in the next two weeks. We don't know for sure what the differences are on the goggles. We know at the moment simply that it is one supports 5S and one supports 6S, but other than that, we don't really know any more. Just the fact that Walk Snail are including antennas is making that goggle a better deal, and unless you're having to jump in on day one, I would be holding back a little bit just to see what the situation is, because the reality is four antennas on these is going to be worth 20 to $50, depending on the quality. And whilst I know there are many people like me who will have plenty of antennas for this, not everyone will be. They are RPSMAs. They are same situation as DJI antennas. So they are the same fitment and they're left-hand circular polarized as well. So if you do need to get a set and you've got a set of DJI FPV goggles, you could just borrow them off them a minute. And that's probably what I'm going to do in my initial trials. So that's the situation as of today. Launch day, tomorrow, goggles, hopefully in the next couple of days, system from there. Now we are going to get a number of high profile reviews on this. I know those guys will do a fantastic job and I'm really looking forward to seeing them myself. However, I will also be putting out my own independent content on this product. I have started writing up what I intend to be looking at and we have so much to cover here. Not only are we going to be looking at it from a review point of view, but we've got to get in on the technical side as well. We're going to get it on the spectrum analyzer. We're going to look at the RF system, we're going to tear it down, we're going to look at the boards, we're going to put stuff up on repair.wiki, and I'm going to try and deliver you guys all of that content that you've been asking me for with this product. Some of it's going to take some time, I'm not going to be able to do it all in a week. However, if you are interested in seeing that, please do consider hitting the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. I also just want to say a massive, massive thank you to all of my Patreons. I would not have been able to buy these goggles without the support of my Patreons, as well as the people who donate to the channel via Buy Me A Coffee. If you'd like to support us in that, there are links to my Patreon in the description too, and it's only by you guys using them am I able to keep making the independent content that I do by buying the product and then talking about it. And whilst we don't buy everything, it does allow us to get involved in launches like this that we wouldn't usually be able to do. Now, as we are sitting here on the eve of the release of these goggles, I just wanted to share with you some of my thoughts. This launch has frankly been all over the place. It's been up, it's been down. The information shared on it has been frankly shocking. We've had nothing from Fat Shark, not even a confirmed release date. We still don't know today what features that are listed for this product are working on day one. People who have placed their pre-orders, who will probably ship tomorrow, still don't know officially what they're getting. We've not had the releases of the reviews yet, and everything remains as unknown today pretty much as it was a few weeks ago. Yes, there has been some drip feeding of information from Walk Snail, but the reality is it has been, for me, one of the most bizarre and strange situations that I've dealt with in a long time. There has been comments from people involved, and I have nothing against those people themselves, but at times they've been combative, condescending, and frankly, 
a view of the FPV community that seems to be you should be grateful for what you're getting and not, hey, we've got this great product, but work with us because some things are gonna be a bit delayed. We didn't even know up until yesterday that the VTXs weren't shipping two days before the goggles were going out the door. But again, we didn't know that they were shipping in two days from the manufacturer. We found that out from the dealers who put the date on their website. It has been shocking and it frankly isn't good enough and it all comes down to poor communication. We know there is a huge amount of excitement around this launch and we know they can't answer all of our questions, but they can communicate. They can tell us what their plans are, but make it clear that that may not happen or things are open to change subject to things out of their control. They could have told people, look, the goggles are going to ship a little bit earlier than the VTXs. We apologize, but that's just due to global logistics. Yet we've been left to find out at the 11th hour when people have orders in with their own money. Now, I will be reviewing this, as I've said, and there is no way that I cannot bring this into the review. My frustration level on this has been through the roof in the last 24 hours. I could literally pop on this subject right now and literally go bananas. But I'm not. I'm going to try and keep it all in. We're going to let the product talk for itself, try and provide a fair and open, honest review as I always do, but be under no illusion that the behavior of the companies up until now has been far from what we would expect for someone who is trying to sell us a high-end product that they want seven, eight, or nine hundred dollars for. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it there before I get myself into trouble. Please do stay safe, look after yourself, and I will speak to you soon.